Today we're going to test the classic ammunition Winchester T22. Hi guys and welcome back to the range. Today we're going to shoot the Winchester T22. I can remember this cartridge from my childhood days. So this has been on the market for a long time. The ones I got here is made in Australia and it is a 40 grain lead round nose bullet. And it leaves the muzzle at 1085 feet per second. As usual I'm going to start with 10 foulers and then I'm going to shoot for groups. So let's see what it can do. Ten ninety four. Ten eighty four. Eleven oh seven. Ten fifty eight. Ten seventy five. 1108 10 Well let's start shooting for groups Eleven ten. Ten eighty three. Eleven oh six. Ten seventy. Well, except from that one flyer, as it looks from here, it's pretty decent for a practice ammunition anyway. As I said, I can remember this cartridge from my childhood days, when I was shooting in my pistol club as a young teenager. So I'm quite fond of this. Good old memories. Eleven hundred. Ten ninety four. Ten eighty seven. Yeah, that flyer wasn't good. This ammunition is way too expensive in Norway. You have to pay about a double of the CCI standard for this. And it's not worth that, I can say that. Ten eighty nine. Eleven seventy seven. Ten seventy four. We seem to get at least one flyer in each group. We'll try to concentrate for the last group. Ten 
1082. Eleven oh eight. Ten sixty four. Ten seventy seven. I think that was the best group. Let's go and get the target and see. Okay, let's start with the Fowlers. The group ended up at 0.77 inches, but the largest spread was in the height. This suggests there is a variation in velocity. Moving on to group number one. The first group we shot was a nice group at 0.554 inches. There was one round that stood out, but overall it was a good group. Group 2 had 4 of the 5 shots placed in a tight group, but the flyer ruined the total. The group measured 0.736 inches, not bad in itself, but without the flyer it would have been an impressive 0.299 inches. Well, the flyer is there, so no point in crying over spilled milk. Let's move on. The next group looks almost like it's copy pasted from the previous one. They look almost identical. Again, there is one shot that ruins the total. It ended up at 0.608 inches, but without the flyer, it would have measured 0.23 inches. The fourth and final group measured 0.414 inches. It's sub MOA, great. I like this cartridge as much today as I did in my youth. I haven't typically gotten any impressive results from Winchester 22s. The average for all four groups ended up at 0.579 inches, or just slightly above 1 MOA at 1.1. The chronograph picked up 29 out of the 30 rounds, and the maximum velocity was 1177 feet per second. And that is the one very hot round. And the minimum was 1058 feet per second. And this gives us a very high spread of 119 feet per second. The average is 1092 feet per second. And the standard deviation is 23. Not too impressive, but the results is pretty good anyway. That's all for today, and I'll see you in the next video.